Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, here we successfully update our asset, right? Here we successfully updated that our backend. Right now everything is work perfectly. So now friend, in this video, I want to work in our profile. That means right now I'm already logged in, right? I'm already logging with the admin. Now I want to do, I want to update uh, that profile functionalities. So if you want to working with the profile, then we have to do, have to first of all, find out a specific this file location. So that is actually comes from our header, right? Now, first of all, I want to go there. I have already segment everything in our view and that is our admin and body and if you go to that our header into the header area that have also one of the menu you can see that is on the logout menu before i have already done this job now i want to work in our profile so if you want to work for the profile first of all we will need to do we need to add one of the route right here that is actually the profile so friend step by step i will cover almost everything just stay with me and code with me so that is very much important i hope uh, whatever the things are uh, right now in your mind everything one by one everything will be solved okay now that is a route i want to create another new route as an admin profile okay i name it as a profile so that will be as an admin profile now this type of one of the route i want to create so if you want to create this route simply go to that our web route into the web route before i have already created one of the middleware you can see i have already created one of the middleware for the agent and also have created another group middleware for the admin so if you want to access this page this user must have to be authenticate that means locking and also this user must have to be admin right so vendor not will be able to access our admin any url so here i want to also protect all that our url for the reasons i have created one of the new middleware as a role middleware right so now let's create it i want to create another new one i copy it and then i paste it so better i put some of the note that is for the admin okay that is for the admin group group middleware middleware great so now that is our and and that is for the vendor right if you go here i have already created another not that vendor that will be as agent right so i make it as a agent agent group middleware great now i want to do i want to create it i have created one of the new profile as a, our new route as an admin profile i copy it now that will be as an admin profile url i want to update as an admin profile and now in our admin controller i want to create one of the new method that will be as an admin profile okay now this type of one of the method i want to create in our admin controller so now if you go to that our admin controller that i have already created if you go to that our app and then the http then the controller and then here directly i have created one new controller as an admin controller so into the admin controller now i want to do i want to create another new method that will be as a public function and our method name will be as a admin profile okay great so into the admin profile what exactly we have to do first of all we have to get our authenticated user id right here if you go to that our um, database into the database if you go to that our user into the user area i have already assigned all the things i have already assigned that role as admin agent and logging right so right now i'm already logging with the admin so here we have to do we have to find out our id that means which user is right now logged in it should be get this id so if you want to get this id here we have to do we have to simply access it i better i take one of the variable as an id and id will be which one that will be the auth so here by this auth auth means it should be check or which user is logging that means authenticated user so that is by default one of the function as user function and now with this user we, we will be able to access our user table id field okay here that is our authenticated user that means which user is logging this logging user id i want to access okay you can access it by this user great so now i have get access that our id and that means which user is logging and then i want to simply get a specific this id related all the data so that will be get all not all data it should be get a specific this id related this row data right so for the reasons here we have to do have to get it by the find method so i take another variable better as admin data okay i make it as admin data great or you can take it as a profile data but i make it as a profile profile okay profile data and profile data will be which one 
here over file data will be um, i want to do i want to access it in from our which table i want to access our user table so user table if you want to access you can right now we are using that elucent orm and if you want to working with the elucent orm we have to do have to um, load our model right i want to do want to access our model as a user model okay so now into this user model by the find method i want to do i want to get it so i have already get our authenticated user id that is the id now the specific this id it will be find so here i have actually loaded that auth i have loaded that user so make that sure here both of this we have to do we have to load i have already loaded that auth before now i want to use it that will be our model name as an app right app backslash and then that will be as a models backslash our model name as a user right that is our app and then the models okay and then that is our user okay so i simply support it make that sure you support it now that is our model great so now i want to do i want to simply return all the data a specific row id all the data i want to return on the view page so that will be the return view return view will be in our admin into the admin folder i want to create on the new page as a admin uh, profile okay profile view so this type of another page i want to create and now what data i have actually take it now i want to pass it by the compact method so here i have already get our specific row id data and i take the things with this variable now i simply pass it by this variable with the compact method in our admin profile view page now i want to do and to create it in our admin folder that means if you go to that our view into the view and that is our admin folder here better i want to create on the new file click as a save as name it as a admin profile view dot blade dot php okay so now our first job is we have to do we have to design it and if you go to that our index into the index i have already extended our admin dashboard right and here you can see i have actually take everything from to the our page content because our sidebar header footer will be the same which i have already take it by the admin dashboard so now i simply copy it and now in our admin profile here i paste it and also i want to do and to better make it as an and section so that will be as a and section great so now let's check this out because here as i told you by the admin dashboard here i have already take our css jss sidebar header and our footer now if you go and i want to refresh it okay i want to refresh so in laravel 10 also they have some of the issues actually i'm facing that things from the laravel 10 when you actually add any route in your web.php it will actually give you this type of one of the error as a route admin profile not defined i have already defined this type of one of the route right here if you go here you can say i have already defined this type of one of the route but it will be actually um, give you this type of, one of the error here we have to do we have to actually optimize it that means we have to re can remove our cache we can remove it by uh, simply running that php addition optimize now if you click as a enter and you can see it's not successfully done and now that should be work now refresh it yeah you can see it's working great so now if you go our profile now our you can see yes here you can see our sidebar is working header is working and that is actually our main while el part right so now here we have to do we have to update so now first of all i want to design our admin profile then we'll customize all that our data from the database so how to do this work i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.